Hi, I'm Chet, I'm from Alabama, and today we're going to talk about this failed regime change in Venezuela. Oh, God. All right, welcome back to the program. I'm Uncle Chet. So, if you ain't know about this, we're going to examine what happened in this country called Venezuela. <laughs> It's a Mexican country down there in uh, South America. And if you think, what do I care about some crap Mexican country? Just wait, it comes back to us. So, clip subscribe. Do it right now. Clip subscribe, dickweed. It started with this guy here. They got a crooked president named Nicolas Maduro, him. So he crooked like Obama. He done this election and then they came back and he was like, oh, look. I won the election by like 100% <laughs> and the assembly wasn't happening so they was like they voted him out and they was going to put the opposition leader in charge of the country and his name is Juan <laughs> I ain't making it up this Mexican dude named Juan Juan Guado it's this cat right here so what happens these American mercenaries get hired to go down there and try and capture this cat Marduro. But uh, it turns out instead of being like uh, the A team, they was like the D minus team. Operation Gideon, as this botched mission was dubbed, was over before the two boats even hit Venezuela's shores. Officials there saying six were killed by the Venezuelan military. You're asking yourself, okay, Uncle Chet. We get it, some attempted regime change in some Mexican country. What the hell do we care about it? Turns out, some Americans got caught up in all this crazy nonsense. Venezuela's president, Nicolas Maduro, says 13 people, including two Americans, are in custody for trying to oust him. Hey, yo jugando al Rambo, al héroe. Hey, Maduro, don't talk crap about Rambo, a real American hero. There wouldn't be no trouble if no jerk off sheriff didn't push me around. All I wanted was something to eat. Rambo. Luke Denman and Aaron Barry, both former Special Forces soldiers. Barry's wife of 19 years and mother to his two children had no idea he was anywhere near Venezuela. You telling me this dude planned a trip all the way down to some Mexican country and his wife ain't even know about it? I, I, I couldn't believe it. I was in total shock and it's just like, you know, your heart stops. Man, I can't get away for a weekend to go to my favorite NASCAR track of Talladega without my missus going all up my keister about it. I guess it's all his secret army training that taught him to uh, slink around without his old lady finding out about it. Mm. Luke Denman's girlfriend, Tatiana Sumiko Sato, was in the dark as well. He got her Chinese girlfriend. He's very multicultural. He traveled into Mexican countries. He got a Chinese girlfriend. The man of the world. What's the first question you'd ask him? What the hell? <laughs> I don't know. Um, I don't know. I can't answer that. I don't. I don't know. All right. So we got to ask ourselves. What known skull was behind this crazy operation? Because it wasn't the U.S. government. Turns out it was some company and some dork. Some dude named Jordan Godro from some company in Florida called Silvercorp. Silvercore USA, a Florida-based security firm, claimed responsibility for organizing the attempted invasion. The company is run by Jordan Gaudreau, a former Green Beret. Florida. Oh, Florida. Y'all went down to Florida to find some deputies? Florida? All right, number one, two reasons you fouled up. One, Florida is the dumbest state in the union. Two, you're going to Venezuela to fight Mexicans. You're gonna recruit mercenaries from Florida? More Mexicans? The whole state of Florida, it's 50% uh, Cuban Mexicans, 50% Puerto Rican Mexicans, and 50% Caribbean Mexicans. 
What's the matter with you? All right, all right. So you gotta be wondering yourself, how did this go bad so terribly? I mean, this guy's a Green Beret, he a pro, all these uh, highly skilled and trained mercenarios. How did it go bad? Uh-oh, Mr. Jordan, he done mucked it up. But just about the same time Denman and Barry were being captured, the man behind Operation Gideon, Jordan Goudreau, was boasting on Twitter of the mission's success. At 1,700 hours, a daring amphibious raid was launched from the border of Colombia deep into the heart of Caracas. Our men are continuing to fight right now. Our units have been activated in the south, west, and east of Venezuela. Now, I ain't no uh, military strategist, but there's a couple things I do know. If your operation kicks off at uh, 1,700 hours, don't go ahead and tweet it at 1,655 hours. You told them where you was leaving from and what time you was doing it. Did you hashtag Venezuela coup as well? Yeah, so they, these fools got demolished on Twitter, which is great. Some of these uh, insults they got is outstanding. Since then, they have been mocked on social media for the failed operation. You lost to a bunch of Venezuelan fishermen. Maybe Karen can bail you out. I don't get that one. The guy's girlfriend is Shanghai Saitawa, not Karen. What the hell? <laughs> Silver Corp tweeted this out. Our methods are dynamic and surgical. And someone replied, surgical? More like total shit. <laughs> By Wednesday, Silver Corps USA deleted their Twitter account. Are you, are you familiar with Alexander the Great? The Battle of Galgamela. He struck deep into the heart of the enemy and that's how he won. Alexander the Great. Boy, I got news for you. You ain't even Alexander the Rodriguez. All right, it's important to point out that the United States had, it looks like, no involvement in this. Like, uh, this was just some guy in Florida who uh, thought he was going to get paid. So our Secretary of State, uh, Pompeo, said so. While State Department officials say they did not sanction this invasion, they say they will do everything they can to get the men back. All right, so now the State Department is involved and we're going to try and rescue them or bargain for them or uh, 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 ransom for them or something stupid like that. I don't know. Luke Denman's parents say they think it was sanctioned by the Venezuelan opposition leader Juan Guaido. He's denied any involvement. I'm sorry, every time you get a Mexican and his name is Juan, I start laughing. <laughs> the only thing that could be more stereotypically hilarious is if his name was Pedro. <laughs> <sighs> Clip subscribe. You know, this, this is what, what happens, you know, when uh, you start getting mixed up with Mexican countries. Sometimes they don't like it. Half the Mexicans want to come across to our country, the other half wants to keep us out of theirs. <laughs> clip subscribe. Or do not clip subscribe. Because I am Chet from Alabama, and I do not care if you clip subscribe or not. Keep it real in the field, I. Oh, God.